This video will show you how to make an online tea time from your mobile device. So here I have an iPhone, so I'm going to click the web browser, which is Safari. And I'm already on the Evanston Golf Club homepage, but if you're not, you're going to go to evansongolfclub.org. And I've already logged in previously, so I have a previous session uh, where I'm logged in at, so it says member home. If I have not done that, it'll say login. So you're going to click login or member home. Uh, if you log, when you log in, a new box will come up and you're gonna put your credentials in. If you're having any issues with those, um, you can contact Taylor Jordan in the front office and she should be able to help you out there. So now that I'm in on the member homepage, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the make a tea time button. I'm gonna click there, which will direct you to the four T's announcement page, which is our online tea time management system. On the top left, you'll see menu, I'll click there. And then to the very left of tea times is a small arrow. I'll click there and it gives me the drop down menu. And then from that point, I'll click make change or view tea times. You are then directed to a calendar. Here's April. I'm going to arrow over to get to May since we're not playing until May. Uh, you'll see we got a couple days there in green and the rest are grayed out. Um, the green days are days that are available for advanced tea times and the gray Grayed out days are the days you can only view. You cannot make a tea time yet. Uh, and that coincides with our three, uh, three days in advance limit there. So I'm looking for Saturday afternoon. So I will click Saturday the 2nd. And here you'll see the tea sheet. Uh, two open spots for every time. Uh, I'm looking for the one thirty time. There it is. I'll click on there. And I'm currently logged in right now as William Haven. So his name autofills in the first player spot. And uh, I'm looking for player number two. He's gonna be playing with his wife here. Um, so click on the player box number two and you'll see this appear. You can go to partners. If you've updated your partners list, they'll be in here. If not, if you click members, um, you can search everybody. So I'm gonna type in Haven. There's Sarah. Click on her. So they're both in there now, uh, as far as whether we're walking or riding, everyone's probably gonna be walking at this point. Uh, we'll click the transportation box, select walking for everybody. And then whether or not we're playing nine or 18 holes, we're gonna play nine holes here. And then if you have any notes to the professional staff, um, if you need golf balls or maybe a new glove, uh, we can leave it at the first tee or on the cart. Just let us know here. We're happy to take any request. And uh, once that's set, uh, submit request. You'll get a confirmation saying your request is complete, and you'll also receive a confirmation email to the email on file at the club. If you scroll down then from the tee sheet, you'll see your name in there. Uh, everything's confirmed, and uh, you are set to go. Looking forward to seeing everyone at the club.